Some of the other types of injection therapy that I do here at my office is called biopuncture. And biopuncture is where we use non-toxic substances such as homeopathic medicine, which is vibrational medicine. So it's the uh, frequency or the vibration of the sus like the sustenance, such as like arnica. Like, so it's not the physical of itself. Arnica is used for trauma, uh, bruising, soreness. And so we use that in general if a patient has uh, a, a trauma, like they had a contusion on their knee, or they have knots in, up in their neck and shoulders, and we basically will go through using uh, acupoint injections and hitting trigger points or uh, acupuncture points by themselves to release the muscle. Because if a muscle is like a rope and it gets really short, your neck or your leg or wherever it is will get really tight. And so we'll go through and release those uh, points or those knots, and that rope or that muscle will get longer and then the end result is a greater range of motion. Uh, secondly, uh, this type of therapy is called neurotherapy, which is the breaking up of interference fields. And the most famous is, is the breaking up of scar tissue or adherences from traumas such as surgeries or hitting your elbow, whatever, but also can be used to refresh or restart um, the nervous system and different parts of the body if a female has had a cesarean section and they have pain in their pelvis or a gentleman um, uh, has fallen on his coccyx, whatever it is, you can go uh, into the body injecting 1% procaine to refresh the nerve. In this case, this gentleman has a scar on his uh, forearm here. And so uh, we end up going into the tissue after we've already cleaned off the area palpating it, I have the patient breathe in, and then exhaling. We are filling it up and lifting up the scar, so leaving no trace behind. And so what that does is aesthetically, the scar looks more like the original tissue. And then the most important part is that we're affecting um, the pathway of the ulnar nerve. And then in Chinese medicine, this is the small intestine meridian that goes through this area. So we're opening that up so the body is uh, physically able to function better and that also includes assimilating uh, this patient's food when it comes to the small intestine as well.